Hello, and welcome to Career Corner. I'm your host, Dion Johnson, and today we are joined by Steve Shiro, and who is, a, who is a superintendent at Warren City Schools. How are you today? I'm good, Dion. Thanks Thank for you. having me. Thank you for joining us. Um, we're just going to start off with a couple questions here. Um, what are some misconceptions about your career? Well, I think a misconception about uh, being a superintendent is that uh, you're someone that goes around and sits in a desk in an office all day wearing a suit and tie. Right. And I think, I think that um, is something that I feel, I feel very strongly about, that if you're going to be effective and you're going to be uh, in the buildings as an administrator and you're going to be around kids, then you need to also be comfortable and represent your school in some uh, spirit wear. And you Absolutely. need to be everywhere and you need to uh, be around kids. So I think you know, the big misconception is um, it, it's, it's not a desk job. Right, and it's also not. Uh, second misconception would be it's uh, not an eight to four or nine to five job. That surely isn't the case. So what is it? <laughs> it's 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 round the clock. It's tw oh, it's twenty four seven Absolutely. vacations, holidays, when, whenever um, something's going on. It's definitely important uh, as a superintendent to be um, responsive to the needs of the kids of the district Absolutely. or the families and whatever's going on in the community. Yeah, I was going to say that I can definitely relate with this suit thing. I'm not one to. Put on a suit i like to be more casual and well clearly clearly i'm the same way so, <laughs> so i guess students and superintendents are alike <laughs> in many ways absolutely um what kind of schooling or training is necessary for um, a teaching career and also teaching like inside of a school and being a superintendent and, and those type of careers um let, let's start with teaching okay. uh, the, the first the, the first uh, thing needs to be to get um, a high school diploma right. and to move forward into uh, finding a college or university mm -hmm. in a program you feel comfortable with, getting a four-year bachelor's degree. Mm -hmm. Also doing some self-reflection in two areas. What age group of um, children do you like? Because mm -hmm. um, liking children should be a requirement of the job <laughs> right. um, for Absolutely. obvious reasons. Um, <laughs> but also what age group? Is it early childhood? Is it middle grades, right. high school? You know, where, where relationship-wise do you, do you best fit? So while you're, you know, entering into a college university for a bachelor's degree, you have to figure out first the age group for which you, you wish to work or serve. Um, secondly, you know, what, what subject areas? You oh, know, if, right. if you're looking at the upper grades, you know, are you a math person, okay. science, social studies, English language arts, career tech? You know, are you looking at, you know, doing, um, you know, welding programs? You, you know, what, what is your skill set, art, music? And trying to find the area that fits you best, right. and then you know you combine that, uh, finish your four-year program, hopefully get a good placement for some experience, right. and then uh, start start your career. If you're going to go on to administration, it's going to take um, some additional time at the university, some courses um, while you're doing your work on the job as a teacher, and hopefully successfully, right. and then uh, moving into administration or curriculum instruction. Uh, or counseling or maybe even library studies right so definitely schooling is needed to teach in a school <laughs> exactly that, that that has to be uh, a, a key component because without that piece of paper in that degree and that right. license certification um, the career doesn't seem to go anywhere absolutely now at this time we're going to go to the early childhood education program here at TCTC early childhood education the Early Childhood Education Program teaches students how to manage a daycare facility and interact with children on a developmentally appropriate level. The TCTC operates its own state certified preschool where students gain first-hand experience. You will learn the techniques of working with these young children under adult supervision and instructors. TCTC remains totally committed to children. I can honestly say that I love children. I, I, I really seriously do. Uh, Something about their energy is just really cool. I love them. Exactly. being around them. It's especially the younger ones. Absolutely. They're, they're, they're so full of energy and so full of life. Yes. And, um, you know, just all over the place in a good way. Right. So what are some rewarding things about your career? Well, I would say even going back to the, the video you, you just showed in the early learning lab. Right. Um, you know, in Warren, we're, we're blessed to have been able to receive funding for over 300 three- and four-year-olds in preschool programs. Awesome. We have a free preschool program. Here in, in Warren City Schools, and, and what's rewarding about the career is being able to be around such um, fun, loving, spirited children at that mm -hmm. age level. Uh, when you went to school, uh, when I went to school, uh, we didn't have three and four year olds in school. Right. It started with kindergarten and maybe even first grade, um, you know, way back some years. But being able to be around uh, kids, mm -hmm. you know, is the, is the most rewarding part of the career. If it's the early childhood kids, like in the video, or if it's um, high school students, you know, Absolutely. maybe at National Honor Society or athletic events. Um, that, that, that's key 
but it's also the most rewarding part of the job. Absolutely. So what type of resources do you use on a day-to-day -day basis when you're um, working? Uh, technology is key, uh, oh, yeah. even in the short time we've spent together. Um, you, know, you know, focusing on communications, email communications um, is important. Everything we do in, in education should be technology-based at this point. Um, as far as online resource and support, that's how students learn. We need to teach students in our classrooms the way um, students uh, live their lives. Absolutely. And, and learning needs to be interesting, needs to be engaging, and we need to uh, keep up with, with that in technology. So definitely all the areas within the world and realm of tech mm -hmm. and also, you know, uh, from resources, having a lot of um, areas to go in and do appropriate reading right. and trying to stay up to date and most current on educational fields and topics. Yeah, which definitely makes uh, the most sense too because in a couple of years there's going to be a lot of technology. I know personally when I was in elementary we had a bunch of textbooks and I know we talked about this too, a bunch of textbooks and now it's the iPad. So Exactly, from textbooks to iPads to um, you know, students Chromebooks. doing their work on their phones. Oh, yeah, I've you done know, that before your, as well. Bring your own device and, and reading, your, you know, whatever chapters and reading assignments right. on your phones and responding and going from there. I see more and more students doing their learning with a phone in front of them than a textbook anymore. Absolutely. I mean, download Google Doc, type that paper out. It's, exactly. it's just so accessible. Yes. Um, that's awesome. Now, at this time, we are going to take you to Career Paths to the Teaching Professions Lab. Career Paths for the Teaching Professions the teachers at the TCTC have fun and get real enjoyment out of teaching students. Someday you might even want to be a teacher. Career Paths for the Teaching Profession is designed to give you a broad base of educational experience. Students in this program develop the art of instruction by creating dynamic lessons and teaching them to actual students. You'll be given an opportunity to achieve a seamless transition for college and a teacher educator program. So from the video we just seen, I actually just seen you in the video, so could you tell us what your average workday is like? Oh, the average workday is, uh, it varies. It varies from day to day. I mean, typically I get up before 5 a.m. and, um, you know, start working right, right out of the gate as far as, you know, checking in, communicating, you know, uh, through email, um, reading, um, you know, newspapers and, and other, um, other social media aspects so that I'm aware of what's going on with our students, you know, in the community. Um, with, what, what's the latest news? Right. Um, also, making sure the conditions for school is appropriate. If it's you know this time of year, we're getting into winter. Right. Um, there's going to be a lot of early mornings checking roads, road conditions, and I'm um, trying to see if we're going to have school right. um, in Warren or even here at TCTC. Right. You know, if that's what Superintendent Gray decides. Let's, uh, hope we get a couple snow days. <laughs> no, we're we're going to work on that. <laughs> we're going to work on that. But the day, you know, it's not just an eight to four job. You know, after. I kind of get organized and ready in the morning, get off to the right. office or to one of our school buildings and Absolutely. get the day started. Um, schedule usually has, you know, five, seven, ten meetings scheduled in a day, um, oftentimes back to back. Some days might be able to get to work four or five o'clock, head right. on home, enjoy the family. If not, um, the uh, uh, evening events, meetings right. um, take place. And, um, you know, just last evening we had a power outage that you know, kept me engaged in work and making sure that one of our buildings was up and running right. um, as far as, you know, restoring power and all the functions of the school, you know, phones, electric, cable, internet cameras, and everything else. Um, but that took us to 11 o'clock last night. So, you know, day starts early, sometimes it ends late, sometimes you get off the hook early, but it's unpredictable. Having structure and stability and organization is key, being a teacher, being an administrator, being a superintendent. Wow, that's... That's impressive. I mean, we think our school day is long from 8 to 2, and you're from 4 in the morning to however long it lasts. Not every day. Not, <laughs> not yeah. every day? Okay, all right. Not so every it's day. A bit, it's the a morning, bit. yes, but when, it, when it's over, it's over, but sometimes gotcha. it does go long. Gotcha. So what is um, your favorite thing about your career? What do you look forward to the most? Uh, what I look forward to is my time I get to spend being in the buildings around the kids. I, I, again, starting with the misconception uh, we discussed earlier, I'm not a sit-behind-the-desk kind right. of person. I'm not a suit-and-tie guy. So uh, being in the buildings and being um, in, in where around our kids are mm -hmm. within the Warren C School District is important to me. And I think that's one of the most rewarding factors. Right. Um, if it's going into a preschool classroom and just peeking in on the kids for a little bit and seeing right. the energy and using that to uplift myself right. from time to time um, or being engaged in rewarding our kids for things that they're done well and trying to keep that positive attitude going in the school system is really important. So I think it all goes back to what our students are doing, how can we engage with them, and, and how we spend time with them in, in a positive manner and maybe leading that charge a little bit. Absolutely. 
Well, speaking of uh, sneaking in on the preschool kids, we're going to go down to Santa's workshop where Blake is going to be hosting. Thank you, Dion. Now, my name is Blake Stahl, and I'm here in the Early Childhood Development Program to talk to Kale about what their program does. Kale, can you tell me a little bit more about your program? Gladly. Um, well, two days out of the week, we go into the preschool that's all over there, and um, we're going to take half the class, and they're going to be dispersed into separate groups. This Inside the preschool, we're going to be teaching them about, you know, basic art, literacy, and math skills, and each of the teachers... You know, week to week, they're going to be doing a different job. One week, you could be leading the class as head teacher. You could be teaching an art lesson the next. Or you could, you know, be making them snack. It's a really variable program. Sounds really fun. Now, what age groups do you teach here at the preschool? Um, in the preschool, in the junior class, we teach three- to four-year-olds. And in the senior class, we're going to teach four- to five-year-olds, just getting them ready for kindergarten. And, yeah. Nice. Now, today, the class is running Santa's workshop where students in the program class will be able to come and shop for their loved ones, family members, and friends for the holiday seasons. And after that, students here at the TCTC could shop for their families and loved ones. Kayla, can you take me around the tables and show me a little bit more what you have here? Surely. Um, right here we have the $5 table. Um, this has a lot of, all of our tables just have a bunch of variable stuff. You can find things like music boxes or even um, salt and pepper shakers that are, you know, animal or plant themed. There's lots of um, variable options here. If we go over here, we have um, our $3 table. And you can find lots of fun things, some decorations, you know, mugs and such. There's lots of um, good things that you can find here, even helpful things like a file organizer. As we head over here, we get to closer to our $1 table. Hi, Liliana. Um, this just has a lot of variable things. You can find things like um, uh, picture frames. You can find like bedazzled hats, water bottles if you need to. There's lots of um, fun things that you can see over here. Interesting. Yep. As we go over here, as we go over here, um, we're gonna have Lauren take us through our two dollar tables. Hi, Lauren. Hi. So this is one of our two dollar tables. It has a bunch of glass, like a vase and candles. Our other two dollar table is over there, which is our jewelry, bracelets, necklace, pins, whatever, jewelry. This is your other $2 table. This is mainly wallets, purse, like small purses, or like things that just didn't fit with the other stuff. We also have a $10 table, which is the more looking expensive stuff. We have a big jewelry box over there. We have a small jacket with fur. We also have this $4 table with um, scarves and... Uh, like towels and rags and like picture frames yeah thank you now as you can see right now there is students in the teaching program helping out little students here in the program shopping for their loved ones now let's see if I can find one of them to talk to hi sweetie can I talk to you for a second now can you tell me what you're shopping for like who are you shopping for your mom dad's siblings no? <laughs> Looks like she's a little shy, y'all. Sibling, what are you shopping for? Do you know? You thought mom. Are you shopping for your mom? Yeah. Yeah, you're shopping for your mom? She's shopping for her mom. Now, looks like she's got a coloring book, hat rack, some interesting items in her buggy. Now, later on, she'll be taking that right over here to the students at this table to have them wrapped up and paid for. Now, over here at this table, can you guys tell us? Oh, sorry, sweetie. Go ahead. Oh, she is a sweetheart. <laughs> Can you guys tell me what you guys are going to be doing over here and tell us about the how much you love working with the students here? Over here, we're going to set their stuff out and we're going to wrap them and put who it's to and who they're from. And I like to be able to see the children learn every day. Um, I honestly love seeing the kids come in with a huge smile on their face and just watching them grow throughout the whole entire year. I enjoy seeing them happy and excited. <laughs> I love every single one of them and every single one's personality. They just grow on me. I love the children. Every time they come in with a smile on their face, they make my day much better. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. Um, 
I want to say happy holidays to the folks at home. And next up, we have Liv in our 360 lab. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Liv, your VR specialist. Today, we're looking into the career path for the teaching profession and early childhood development here at Educate, or I'm sorry, Trumbull Career and Technical Center. Now, we're going to be looking at early childhood education first, where students can get hands-on training working in a functioning preschool and learn how to work with young children. Now, they're doing some holiday activities here. This first table we're at, each child was given a different turkey with a different number in its, on its belly. They then have to put clothespins corresponding with it, like feathers. The next table, children are making uh, paper plate turkeys. The feathers each have letters on them. Those spell out all their names. <laughs> at another table, students are making hand paintings. And behind them is the free play area. There are different toys here, so every student has an opportunity to play with different objects, as in blocks, from balls, to even little trucks and trains. Now where we're going next is the kitchen area. This is where they make the snacks for the children every day. Today, they're going to be making a seasonal Thanksgiving-related treat. Now, career paths for the teaching profession works with students who want to pursue a career with older children. In the teaching academy, students work towards a goal of becoming an educator, whether it's from pre-K to 8, 9th through 12, or beyond. Make sure to check out our website for more VR tours and lab videos. Now it's time for me to sign off. Back to you, Dion. At this time, it is time to get your Career Tech Takeaway paper out. This paper should be given to you by your teacher, and if you don't have one, they are available on our website. This is a chance for you to take a step in the career that you may like. Now, any closing remarks? Yeah, I would just want to say if, if you uh, are interested in being a teacher and being an educator, mm -hmm. uh, one of the things you definitely have to do is make a commitment, start researching it, and have the disposition of no bad days attitude if you're going to move into the career field uh, through these experiences at TCTC or at your local universities. This has been episode three of Career Corner. I'm your host, Dion Johnson. Thank you, Mr. T. Shiro, for joining us today. Thank we you. appreciate it. See you next month.